What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from GeeksterLabs.com, and this video is sponsored by SellCashier.com. They compare iPhone prices and give you top dollar for your used iPhone. If you'd like to sell your used iPhone, check out their link in the description. So today I have my new five top secret features of iOS 9. So the iOS 8 video did really well, and a lot of you guys seem to like that. So I'm going to give you guys five new top secret features that you are guaranteed not to know about for iOS 9. So let's get into the first one. All right, so the first feature on this list is the ability to draw on email attachments. So let's say I go into my, my pictures here, and let's say I wanna send one of these pictures via email. So I go to my emails, forget what I wanna say there. If you tap on the picture and hold for a few seconds, let go, there's actually an option up there now that says mark up. So if I click on that and I want to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, I could change colors. So you can actually draw on your attachment. So of course this is a stupid example, but let's say you have a picture of a website or something like that and you want to say like, you know, hey, the link I'm talking about is right here. This is the link that I'm mentioning, something like that. Now you can do that with email attachments. I don't think there's any other place you're able to do this. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments section below, maybe in the notes section, if you place a picture within the notes section, which you can do now, you might be able to draw on top of there. But this is actually not even a feature that's available in the photos album. Like if you're looking at your photos in the album, you're not able to draw them. You're only able to do this if you're attaching it to an email. So that's the first tip, which is drawing on email attachments. Let's get to the next one. All right, here's another feature that you may not be aware of. And this one is a little bit of a bonus. So as you guys can tell, there's now a new folder it places in your albums for selfies. So if you take any kind of selfie pictures, it's automatically going to pop them right in there. But that's not the feature I'm talking about. The feature is multiple image selection. So normally when you want to select multiple pictures, you have to click on select and tap, tap, tap all the pictures that you want to add to your selection. Well, now they have a new feature where you can actually click and drag over all of the images. So if you have a whole page of images, you can easily get to all of them by clicking and dragging and it'll select multiple images all at one time. So kind of nice, uh, little handy feature to have right there. All right, now this is the feature that's in the settings section. Now this is actually something Android's had for a while now, but we finally have it in iOS 9, which is a search field in settings. And that may not seem like a big deal, but whenever you are looking through here and you're like, where the heck is that one freaking option? Well, now all you gotta do is go up there, type in whatever you need to look for, whether it's camera options or such, and then it easily gives you all those different camera options. This shows you general restrictions allow, so it gives you, it shows you actually the the, the actual uh, places that those options appear in. Or you can just click right there right off the bat and get straight to the option, which is really easy to get through your system menu options because there's actually a lot of things now in the option menu when it comes to settings. So using a search field, it makes it a little bit faster. So here's an option that may be really useful for those of you that use the wallet feature of your iPhone. So normally you'd have to go into the application to use it if you're like at CVS or something you want use it but now if you just double tap the home screen bam it gives you all that really quickly you can easily do touch ID and use your debit cards to make a purchase right off the bat you don't have to actually open the phone swipe and get to that that actual application you just double tap it and bam you're good to go and you can start making your purchases right away really quickly all right, all right here's another feature that's taking us back to the album which is video so now when videos if you were not aware whenever you record a video it actually will allow you to zoom in on your video which would not was not available to you before so let me give you an example right here so if I do this, if I'm in the video, I can actually zoom while it's playing to see what's close up. So it's not gonna be the best quality, it's gonna still be pretty blurry, but it is an option that is available to you if you do wanna zoom in and see something a little bit closer in that video. This may be something really nice now that the, the new iPhone 6S has 4K video, so maybe in the 4K videos it might be a little bit sharper, but you can also take, you can also zoom in really close if you want. I guess you could take a snapshot of that and put that in your photo album if you wanna get a, a picture, a snapshot picture of something close up. Or if you're just in your video and you're like, you wanna see a small detail of something that's going on and you just wanna be able to zoom in, you can now pinch to zoom to zoom within your videos. All right, now the last top secret feature that you probably didn't know about is in Safari. So while you're in Safari, if you have a website that you're looking at, let's say, for example, I have this, this little listing here for a home because I, I am looking for a home right now. So I don't want to have to be able to get the access to this. Say, let's say I'm going to be on the train riding back home. I'm in New York. I don't have, I don't have Wi-Fi, but I want to be able to look up all the information that's listed on this site. Well, that's very easy to do now. All you got to do is go to the share button right there scrolls up. If you scroll over to the side, it now has an option to save PDFs to iBooks. So if you click on that, it's actually going to prepare a PDF of the whole web page, store it in your, your iBooks section right there. Now it's eight pages and I can actually read all that content, have all that stored right here and get access to all that stuff. If I happen to be in an area that does not have Wi-Fi or internet, or if you just want to save this page 
to email to somebody be like, hey, check out this listing I saw here. It really has some really good information. Whatever it may be, you can actually save PDFs of web pages and they'll put it in your iBooks and you can easily share it from there. So, so those are my five top secret features that you probably did not know about in iOS 9. If you guys knew about these, let me know in the comment section below. If there's other features that you think I should have mentioned in this video, post them down below as well. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. If you have any questions about these, also post those in the comment section. I read each and every comment in all of my videos and I will always do my best to get back to you as quick as possible. I just want to give another shout out to our sponsor, sellcashshare.com. If you guys are looking to get cash for your used iPhone, it's very easy, fast, and secure. You just go to their site, you get a quote, you ship your phone, and then you get paid. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with all of my content, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in the next video review.